Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best build for all 79 brawlers in the game right now. So I'll put timestamps in the description below so you guys can just skip to the brawler that you want to take a look at. But I'll just be waffling through all of these. So I hope you guys enjoy every single update cycle. I like to update it. So I'm going to give you guys the best star powers, gadgets, gears for all of these brawlers. And we're going to be doing it in alphabetical order so it's a lot easier to follow. So we're going to be starting off with 8-bit. So with 8-bit, his gadgets, uh, both from a pretty decent cheat cartridge, 90% of the time, except for heist where you want extra credits. So if you want to choose one, definitely cheat cartridge. And in terms of star powers, again, boosted booster like 90% of the time. So if you want to pick one, it's the main reason why 8-bit is actually pretty strong in the meta. But plugged in, you want to use against like snipers and his biggest counters. But again, I'd rather just use boosted booster because you absolutely melt. Use reload speed gear all of the time with 8-bit. And then you can definitely sw swap between a lot of gears. But if you had to choose one, other than the reload gear, it'd have to be the health gear because he has so much HP and it just helps 8-bit stay alive and we get a lot more pressure on the map. So next we have Amber. So Amber's got two good gadgets to be fair. I think both of them are needed. If you have to pick one, I'd still probably would pick five starters. Main reason being is because it pairs so well with Wild Flames. You pop this gadget and then you can start the cycling of your super. But definitely this gadget is really good and the main reason why Amber is also meta right now. You want to use the reload speed gear all of the time on Amber because you're just able to cycle through your attack a lot quicker. And then in terms of the next gear, I just go with damage. I don't think any other gear is that useful on her, to be fair. I think most of the time you use Amber on a grassy map, so I probably would use a vision gear as well. I use that a lot when I play Amber. Next up, we have Angelo. So in terms of the best gadget, Sting in Flight, probably 95% of the time. It's just so good to get away. The jump is just so big. The, the distance it covers is insane. You can escape so easily and also make good plays. I think this is underrated, but I wouldn't actually buy it with coins if you get what i mean in terms of star power 100 percent of the time and power even if you're on a, a map with a lot of water this star power is just not really worth it you want the healing with angelo then in terms of gears i never swap away from these two gears Next, we have Ash. So, Ash, chill pill, 100% of the time. And then, first bash, 100% of the time as well. It just allows you to get to your top of the rage a lot quicker. And then, you can just cycle through it, get that additional movement speed and damage boost. And then, with Ash, 100% of the time, speed gear and damage gear. That's what the pro use. So, just use that. There's just no point overcomplicating things. Next up, we have a Barley. So, he's got two good gadgets. I'd say Herbal Tonic probably is the better gadget overall. But if you're scared of uh, assassins and everything else, this is a good gadget to have this is just good for overall control though and that's probably what barley needs a little bit of and in terms of star powers i think the damage star power definitely pretty much 90 percent of the time if you're facing off against another throw in ranked then medical use pretty it is pretty good but the extra damage definitely is needed for barley and then most of the time i just like to switch between these three gears you probably can't go wrong with like this setup seeing as barley is pretty squishy next up we have b so in terms of gadgets i go rattled hive pretty much all the time it's just good for pressure early game it's good for just sniping people across the map and it doesn't take any skill and you can just spam out free gadgets but if you're facing off against like a gene or another shop shooter then this gadget's actually better because you can tank an extra shot or you can tank a gene pool so both of them are good rattled hive is a bit better though i think honeycomb is definitely the better star power to use a lot of people do like insta b-load and i like it as well so i wouldn't uh, discredit you from going both of them but if you want to use what the pros use honeycomb literally 99 percent of the time and then the gears you pretty much never want to swap away from these two because extra damage would be is essential and then of course the shield gear because she's squishy next up we have bell so bell has two pretty good gadgets nest egg you want to use pretty much all of the time especially in hot zone or if you're playing like shooting star where you can just set traps around the map it's pretty much a guaranteed kill reverse polarity can be pretty good in some scenarios if you want to start getting some pressure with a really sneaky shot and it's pretty fun but nest egg i just use that pretty much all the time positive feedback 100 percent of the time definitely definitely the better star power in terms of gears again reload gear all of the time and shield gear with bell because she's pretty squishy so you want that extra shield next up we have bb so this gadget 100 of the time and then 95 of the time i use home run i mean sometimes i might only use this on a grassy map but i still just rather have home run because you can just juke and get into the opponent's faces much easier in terms of the gears you pretty much never want to swap away from this i don't if you're playing a non-grassy map just go shield gear probably or even health i just like the extra shield because she's basically a, an assassin and then lastly we have a bow so in terms of gadgets i use super totem all of the time but a lot of people like trip wire but especially if you're looking to break open a lot of walls or if you're 
you're playing Brawl Ball, Trip Wide probably is a better gadget for you. Super Totem is probably better overall, though. Star Power is Snare Bear 100% of the time. I, mean, I never switch away from this build. You want the extra damage and the reload speed gear pretty much all of the time. Sometimes I want to use Vision, though, if I'm playing like a really grassy map, but I pretty much never swap away from this gear. So next up, we have Bonnie. In terms of the gadgets, Sugar Rush 100% of the time. Star Power, Black Powder 100% of the time. In terms of gears, the build has changed up a little bit. You want to be using Supercharged gear all of the time since the recent buff to her you can get super within three shots and then you want the extra gadget charge gear as well because four sugar rushes is really vital to get pressure to cycle to supers and that's just the way you play bonnie you want to get as many supers as possible so next up we have brock in terms of gadgets i use rocket fuel pretty much all of the time i think rocket laces is pretty underrated and definitely valuable but the reason why i play brock is to open up the map and you do that with this gadget in terms of star powers 95 percent of the time just go more rockets guys it makes his super so much better so good so underrated in terms of rocket number four sometimes it does feel pretty good but i'll say it's only really good in knockout and bounty for example but i'd still rather go more rockets to confirm the kills and in terms of gears on heist you want to be going the damage and the uh, reload gear everywhere else you probably want to go over shield gear because of course brock is super squishy next up we have ball so in terms of the gadgets you want to go stomper all of the time and then you want to go uh tough guy pretty much all of the time good ball players can make good use of berserker you probably only really want to use it on heist but i just feel like with ball right now he's still feels super super squishy as a tank so that's why i love using tough guy in terms of the gears overall then you pretty much want to go damage and the supercharged gear all of the time unless you're playing on a grassy map then probably go for something like this and uh, next up we have buster so buster going to be using a slow-mo replay gadget all of the time and then you want to be going kevlar vest all of the time as well the other two just aren't valuable whatsoever and then as you can see i pretty much use the speed and the extra gadget charge gear you definitely need the gadget charge gear with buster getting four pulls is essential and then again you could probably go with damage or speed but i played buster on the grassy map so speed probably is the way to go in terms of um buzz this gadget is definitely going to be the better one overall i'd say this is definitely underrated does have its use case especially on grassier maps but more often than not you don't really play buzz really on that grassy maps because you're looking to counter snipers so i go with this and it also pairs really well with its hypercharge so that's why you want to go with that gadget star powers eye shop is a better one 90% of the time i think there is an underrated use case for this star power if you're looking to counter tanks you're looking to counter mortis etc but ice shop is better overall and then i typically go with something like this you could probably opt for this you might not need the extra shield with buzz but just because of the way i play him i like to just go in aggro all of the time so the shield gear will help him out because of course he's an assassin next up we have byron sometimes the gadgets i think shot in the arm actually is better i think as a byron player and i like cycling for his supers i like booster shots but as i've noticed over time i think this actually helps you more against your counters because he actually doesn't struggle too much against those assassins anymore so this will help you against sharpshooters pretty good gadget overall and then in terms of star powers i like malaise pretty much all of the time but if you're facing off against snipers only or if you're pairing it with like a meg or other tanks then injection might be pretty good or if the opponent's running like charlie or tara then injection can pierce through those pets and in terms of the gears i actually like this setup a lot more main reason being is because the damage gear doesn't really pa pair too well with this gadget right uh the damage gear because it's constantly going to be healing up so you're never really going to use damage gear too often so i like this setup probably the most with byron next up we have carl so in terms of the gadgets you want to use them flying hook 90% of the time so actually it's a use case for heat ejector now it does a lot of damage and it's actually good into tanks but the way you play Carl you want to use flying hook pretty much all of the time and then next we have the star powers so protective pirate 100% of the time and then in terms of the gears you probably would opt for something like this getting four flying hooks is the best way to go with Carl next up Charlie spiders 90% of the time but there is a good use case for personal space especially in ranked for example if uh, you're facing off against sandy ems any type of brawler that shoots through your spiders you can switch to this gadget also there's some really cheesy strategies in showdown and uh, jewels as well so if you play those game modes this is probably actually the better gadget and then you always want to go the extra gadget gear with charlie and then probably the damage as well on top of that and then lastly we have chester so a lot of people like spicy dice i can see why especially if you're stuck with 
with a terrible super. But the way I play Chester is I just like spamming stuff constantly. I know this isn't the greatest gadget in the world, but it might just help you in that 1v1 scenario. And I think you need it with Chester. So I like candy beans, mate. Maybe unpopular opinion. People might not agree with that. Bellomania, 100% of the time. And then with Chester, I don't know. You probably play Chester on grassy maps. I think the Vision Gate is underrated with him. But probably will just play speed and damage. So now moving on to Chuck. His gadgets are pretty easy. Rerouting is going to be the best gadget overall by far. Main reason being is because sometimes it's really hard for Chuck to get his last post onto the safe. Whilst with this one, you can super up to your furthest post. You can pop the gadget and then throw that onto the safe. Which is why this is a better gadget overall. There's maybe a few maps where this is pretty useful. But I like rerouting especially if you're playing heist in terms of star powers then i feel like you don't actually need the extra pole with uh chuck a lot of times you just need three but the fourth one can be pretty good in some game modes and scenarios i think it's the better one overall but tickets please also can be pretty viable as well i think for the most part people just avoid chuck's tracks pretty easily in terms of the gears then so if you're using this uh gadget you might want to use an extra gadget charge but most of the time you just want to go for something uh, like this setup because the way you play chuck you just want to keep going in time time again and tank as much as possible with the shield gear next up you've got uh collect you want to use gotcha 100 of the time and then you want to use mass tax pretty much all of the time this stop power is pretty good sometimes it's not very effective but definitely in heist you want to use mass tax and in other scenarios but push it can be really good to confirm kills so i'd say it's like a 50 50 in terms of star powers and then you want to use this setup pretty much all of the time because getting four chances to heal is just fundamentally insane and then of course damage because that's just what you want to do with clear so colt's a pretty simple one you want to go speed loader pretty much all of the time there will be some maps where silver bullet is pretty good like new horizons for example to stop cheesy strategies or if you're facing off against like a sandy or thrower silver bullet can uh, come clutch but most times speed loader and this is literally 50 50 personal preference i think magnum special makes me a better colt i can't play speed colt to save my life but this can be really good especially against snipers i don't know i like magnum special because you get that increased uh, attack speed and then in terms of gears i go this all of the time you can probably opt for something a little bit different but you play colt pretty much for damage right so get an additional damage with damage gear and the reload gear is the main reason you play colt next up we have cordelia so replanting gadget 100 percent of the time it's just so good so versatile you can jump over attacks jump onto a thrower you can actually like throw your super out and then press this gadget at the same time and you jump inside of a shadow realm people seem to think that this is a good gadget i don't really think it's that great i mean sometimes it can come clutch but most of the time replanting is going to be better in terms of gears definitely this setup right here so the gadget charge getting four jumps is essential and then shield gear because that's just the way you play uh cordelius i think you need that extra bit of hp and then combo shrooms is the better star power 95 percent of the time now people have switched to this one a lot more main reason being is because it's just you don't cycle supers as frequently with cordelius anymore so you're not getting that consistent healing anymore that's the main reason why you don't use mushroom kingdom next up we have crow so both gadgets it's a really underwhelming you could just pretty much go with any of them i think slow toxin still is a better gadget but only two seconds it's hard to get value so i sometimes just switch to defense booster just to get a bit more pressure and a tank a little bit more seeing as he is super squishy in terms of the gears i don't know like i don't really feel much difference with a mythic gear but it does need that extra bit of damage i would just go for something a little bit more simple and just go with something like that or if you're on a speedy map just go for something like that it definitely needs a shield gear and then you can just play around with, with, with whatever you want and then in terms of the better star powers, I think extra toxic still is the better star power, only ever so slightly. But Crow does need that extra damage. I think this one is a little bit underrated. I tend to use that a little bit more, but I feel like you can't really tell the value with Crow's star powers anymore. In terms of Daryl, then, I think both gadgets are pretty lackluster. I think in this meta, you just need to get your super as much as possible. Normally, I like Tar Barrel, but you just never get your super. So recording rotator can help get that sometimes but it's really inaccurate not that strong in terms of his best star powers then steel hoops is the better one overall but because of how bad daryl is i feel like rolling reload might be the, the go-to now because the only chance you have to win with daryl is by getting on the safe and getting that additional ammo but again it's not really that valuable both star powers are pretty trash and then i just like to float between these three gears you probably can never really go wrong with the damage and then probably the health one next up we have uh doug so doug is just 
pretty useless right now in the meta. The best gadget by far is going to be extra mustard. The double attack damage is insane, especially, of course, when you get within range of any times the star power. is definitely self-service. I reckon this one could be underrated if they buffed it like an extra second or two, but self-service is just going to be better. It can help win some interactions and just make it a little bit harder for opponents to take you down. And then with his gears, you never really want to swap away from that. Uh, next up, we have Dynamite. So, of course, satchel charge 100% of the time. You want to be going demolition 100% of the time. Maybe you want to actually swap star powers if you're facing off against an Edgar or a Miko. But I just think you're going to be plain and simple defenseless anyway against those brawlers. So you may as well just go demolition. The off chance that you get a really good super. And then in terms of gears, you want to go this setup every single time. And then lastly with Edgar, let's fly 100% of the time. I don't know. Some people use hardcore. Can catch people off guard. But because you want to be making sure you're going as aggro as possible all of the time with Edgar, you haven't got 20 seconds or whatever to wait for your first super just use let's fly and cycle and just go ham next star powers so if you're facing someone that's super squishy even hard landing is going to be good to confirm kills quickly the more tankier the brawler the better fisticuffs is i just use fisticuffs you don't really notice too much of a difference but just because it allows you to cycle super more often i think it's a better star power overall and then in terms of gears then i actually don't really sw swap away from this even though it's probably pretty nice to go with like damage and shield i think you definitely need a supercharged gear because the hardest thing about edgar is being caught in limbo and just being stuck without super so any additional boost to that is really good so that's why i just like to go something like this so you're kind of never without super so now moving on to el primo start off with his gadgets i think this is going to be a better gadget overall because typically you use primo to counter brawlers like bb buzz so just interrupting their super their attack is really good for getting kills i think you can use this one against throwers or if you want to open up the map but of course super uh, suplex supplement is the better one overall in terms of star powers it depends whether you're a good primo or not i think meter rush is a better one overall but just because you can close the gap onto the opponents quicker especially if you miss your super and you could just make more plays with additional speed i think it's pretty underrated el fuego probably is pretty good against like squishier brawlers and just good if you can land your supers consistently in terms of the gears then it depends on how confident you are at cycling supers i think this could be a really good setup i really like it because i don't know something about this gear i don't know when you like uh, cycle free supers you can just spam really quickly without it i feel like you can't do that so i really like this setup but I definitely wouldn't discredit you from going the uh health gear as well pretty underrated on el primo in terms of m's you want to be going friend zona 100 of the time in terms of star power you can use hype pretty much everywhere except for a uh, heist where you want to use bad karma bad karma can actually be pretty underrated as well but i just like hype it's my play style it depends on your play style the way i play m's is that i like to push up behind a wall and just get a lot of uh, just pressure with the hype with the healing and then in terms of gears you would never really want to swap away from this i think it could be pretty valuable to go like the speed and the extra gadget gear just to get get that extra knock back but most of the time you play m's on a grassy map so you probably want to opt for something like this instead eve I think gotta go 100% of the time and then on natural order pretty much all of the time as well you just get more consistent damage with his star power i think this one could be underrated against snipers but it is a very inconsistent star power so don't really go it in terms of gears you want to go this setup every single time with uh eve there's just no questions asked about this one definitely the best setup overall next we have fang so both gadgets are actually pretty useful i use corn food most of the time though just because it's really annoying and stops the opponent's health regen and it just it actually covers a lot of the map so it can be pretty annoying but you want to use roundhouse kick especially to confirm kills and get good combos if you're a good fang and you have good ping if you know the combo with fang then this one can be good overall but i i just use this because i'm not the greatest fang player in the world in terms of star powers then i actually think divine souls is the better star power now especially because fresh kicks you don't actually uh charge that towards your hypercharge i think if you're playing fang competitively especially on knockout bounty you're gonna find divine souls is the better star power but if you're just just playing like a casual if you're at the low elo in master a lot in masters or you're just playing low trophy ladder fresh kicks is better because people will group up and you'll get a lot of supers so in terms of your gears you would never really want to swap away from damage and shield main reason being it's because you're assassin you want to have as much hp as possible when you charge in with buzz and fang etc so next up we have uh, frank so i know he has a lot of brothers that can cancel out his super but i just don't think this gadget is really that needed you need that extra damage with frank you can actually make some really good plays with this gadget so i think it's definitely the better gadget overall in terms of star powers both are pretty bad 
you know, I've been experimenting with power grab, but I'm not really mo uh, noticing much difference because it's really hard to confirm a kill with Frank. So I just go with Sponge, extra tankiness, what is not to like. And then these two gears pretty much all of the time. Grassy map, you want to opt for this setup instead. You can never go wrong with health and the damage gear. Next up, we have uh, Gale. Sometimes the gadgets twist up pretty much all of the time. There's probably a few scenarios where you want to go Spring Ejector. That's probably on like parallel plays. Uh, maybe a few other scenarios as well but you can never go wrong with Twister. Star powers, freezing snow all of the time. One of the best star powers in the game, so underrated. And then I pretty much go this setup all of the time. Grassy map, you might want to swap for something like this instead. Can be pretty underrated, but you can never really go wrong with the damage and then something else. Next, we have Gene. So Gene, most of the time you are using Vengeful Spirits because you use them on a longer range map. But if you're playing Brewable or more close range map, Lamp Blowout is pretty good, especially to get a knockback and buy some time to get an additional shot onto them. You'll be actually surprised to hear that I'm enjoying Spirit Slap a lot more, especially with the Hyper Charge as well. It combines really well. I think Magic Puff still is one of the best star powers in the game. It synergizes really well with so many Brawlers, but don't be afraid to try Spirit Slap out a little bit. Trust me, I think Gene's got even better now I've tried this star power out a little bit more. Might be controversial, but hey, uh, in terms of gears, Mythic gear 100% of the time and pretty much Vision gear 95% of the time. Again, if you're playing on a map with no bushes, there's no point going Vision gear, so you might want to opt for Probably the damage gear that I need to buy with Gene. Yeah, you probably want to go for that. I keep making a mistake that I go shield. You probably want to go health or the damage gear. Next up, we've got Gray. So you want to be going the Walking Cane 100% of the time. You want to be going a Fake Injury on Knockout or Bounty. And then everywhere else, New Perspective. And then in terms of gears, you can never really go wrong with uh, this. And the extra. you definitely need the Gadget Charge gear. You might want to go for damage because he lacks the kind of DPS. Or you might want to go with Shield, depending on what type of Gray player you are. And then lastly, we have Griff. So Griff, piggy bank, 100% of the time. 95% of the time, you're going to go business resilience. If you're up against a super tanky combination, or if you keep facing off against tanks, you may as well switch to this star power. But trust me, people use business resilience star power to stay alive, be really annoying with Griff, especially on hot zone. And then in terms of the gears, I actually use the gadget charge gear on Griff a lot. Main reason being is because you use Griff to break open the map. So getting four piggy banks is really good. You definitely want the reload speed of gear and then it just depends what type of griff you are might want to go health might want to go damage you know if you're playing heist but i typically use this build pretty much all of the time on griff so now moving on to grom starting off with his gadgets watchtower can be pretty good on maps like center stage or any grassy map but most of the time you use grom on like knockout and bounty where there's not much grass and radio checks just better to confirm kills so definitely use this gadget x factor 100 of the time and then damage and shield all of the time because you're a thrower you'll always get good use out of damage and shield pretty safely Next, we have uh, Gus, Gadget, Kooky Popper, Star Power, Spirit Animal. 100% of the time, no debates there. In terms of the gears, I like the damage gear and the extra gadget gear. Main reason being is because the confirmed kills is so essential for Gus. The extra 2k damage is so, so good. Sometimes people like the shield gear, but I don't think he really needs that extra shield. He's not really that squishy as a sniper. Next up, we have Milk Boy himself. You want to use Barricade 100% of the time. You want to be using It's Gonna Blow 100% of the time. And then in terms of his gears overall, I think this setup you can never really go wrong with. Sometimes I think the gadget charge gear is underrated though because essentially this gadget is super strong with Hank. I don't know what it is. It just makes his milk unkillable. So you want to be making sure that you get four uses of that. I think this is probably a good setup to go. Next up, we have Jackie. So this gadget, 100% of the time. Uh, counter crusher 99 percent of the time hardy hard hat is probably good if you're facing a lot of snipers for example but most of the time you want this for the extra dps because without it jackie can never confirm kills and then in terms of the ga uh, gears then you'll be using speed and the damage but if you're playing a non-grassy map you might want to opt for something like this or again you might want to like swap around with all of them because again an extra gadget with jackie is essential because you realize you can't make plays without this gadget so probably something like that is what i really opt for in terms of Janet, you want to use drop the base 100% of the time. Vocal warm up 100% of the time. And then I never really swap away from damage and shield. I mean, if you're playing a grassy map, you may as well go for something like this. She's really good with the vision gear. But most of the time, you can never really go with damage and maybe like speed or something like that. Next up, we have Jesse. So spot plug everywhere except for heist, where recall spring definitely is a better gadget inside of heist. Star powers energize 100% of the time. And then in terms of gears, you want to be using the pet power and the damage gear inside of heist and then everywhere else you want to be going speed and damage you can 
never go wrong with that. I mean, sometimes I use the vision gear just because I'm extra like that, but I think speed and damage is still the way to go. Uh, next up, we have kit. So in terms of gadgets, I don't know. Cardboard box can be pretty good sometimes, but I think cheeseburger probably is a better gadget overall now. Main reason being is because the extra three seconds isn't really a lot. I mean, mechanically going invisible, it can be pretty good, but a three second invisibility, you're not really going to make many moves or you're not going to charge much of your super. So I think cheeseburger can literally just make them unkillable as a duo when you jump on someone that's what a lot of pros use anyways and then in terms of star powers of course you want to be using this in showdown this in 3v3 modes i don't really like kit star powers they're not even useful anyway i mean the showdown one is useful but i don't think that's that useful in uh, 3v3 and then in terms of gears you want to be going this setup every single time uh, next up we have larry so with his gadgets order fullback 100 of the time is so good for extra just surprise factor healing etc etc and you want to be using this star power all of the time as well in terms of gears i never really swap away from this getting four chances to heal up is really good i mean you can go for this as well you can never really go wrong, wrong with shield on a thrower and then next we've got leon so in terms of gadgets lollipop drop 100 of the time star powers i've actually been experimenting a lot more now seeing as leon's super charge rate got nerfed heavily i actually like smoke trails a lot more especially on long range maps or just catch opponents by surprise i think invisa hill definitely is the better star power overall but don't be afraid to experiment with smoke trails definitely can catch some people off guard and then in terms of gears the mythic gear used to be really good with leon i don't know i'm not really feeling it too much right now it, it can be pretty good especially with his hypercharge combined but i actually think it takes a long time to get his hypercharge now it just depends again if you feel like you can cycle through hypercharges definitely go with a mythic gear i think it's just pretty safe to go something like this on leon so now we're going to be moving on to lily and we're going to be starting off with her gadgets so the best gadget for lily vanish 100 of the time it's just so good one of the best gadgets in the game spiky the main reason we're going to be using this star power is because lily really lacks the dps especially in a 1v1 so any additional damage is really going to help her out in that 1v1 whilst this one i've not really tried out too much but i just don't think it's that strong in terms of gears you want to use a damage gear and the gadget charge gear 100 of the time especially the gadget charge gear you want four of these gadgets because that just makes her viable without it i think should be absolutely useless next up lola freeze frame 100 of the time so good at tanking shots and then i actually think sealed with a kiss is the better star power overall with lola now i definitely want to be afraid to go this in heist or if you need the extra dps but with lola it's actually really hard to kill her especially if you go with this kind of setup right here i mean the vision gear is very underrated with lola to be fair so if you're playing a grassy map the vision gear everywhere else you want to go for this setup instead next up we have lou so you want to go with this gadget 100 of the time and we're going to hyperthermia 100% of the time and then you want to go this setup all of the time as well the gadget charge because this gadget is one of the best in the game and then the super charge because it, it, it enables you to cycle your super one shot quicker and you just need that with lou i don't think you need any other gear with lou for sure next up we have Maisie, so of course disengage 100% of the time tremors all of the time as well in terms of the gears i go this setup all of the time damage and the extra gadget charge because you want four dashes it's the main reason why you use mazy is to dash and super get that combination going next up we have a mandy so a lot of people like caramelize it's pretty good to confirm like a kill or it's just really good to pair with your super but i actually like cookie crumbs a lot better you can catch opponents by surprise you can destroy gadgets like leon gadget for example or if you need one shot to super you can catch them by surprise and use cookie crumbs i just like it it's really good to catch people uh, off guard next up we have uh, star powers in my sights all of the time and then i never swap away from this setup damage and the shield she's super squishy and of course damage gear if you pop that with your super you can one shot so many brawlers phase shifter you go all of the time and then run a gun pretty much 95 percent of the time i don't know maybe if you're playing gem grab or if you feel like you're gonna have a really tough matchup then supercharge probably is better but run and gun you pretty much use you want to be aggressive with max and getting people's faces and then in terms of the gears this is such a hard conversation i think you need gadget charge all of the time but to be fair you could swap out a lot with max i switch out pretty much every single game so bear that in mind with max i think if you had to pick two i'd go with damage gear and the extra uh, gadget gear but see a lot of people like go with this i mean the health gear i used to really like on max as well but i, I just think for the constant pressure i think damage gear and this is definitely better overall and uh, next up we have meg so meg i think you want to go with this gadget all of the time if you're facing against snipers you definitely could use toolbox but i think you just get more value out of this gadget 
gadget, especially for pressure. So I've swapped out my build a little bit with Meg. I've been having more success rate. So I go damage and the gadget charge gear. I probably wouldn't advise you, uh, won't put you off going like the shield gear as well with Meg because you get that on the small form as well. And then this for four sets of healing. The main reason being is because with Meg, I've realized like for pressure, you just spam out these gadgets and you can just keep pressuring the opponent's back. So if you have four healing gadgets, you can do that more often and put them into spawn. That's the main reason you use Meg, right? Like you gotta face it, like you're not gonna deal much damage anyways with Meg. You use Meg for the pressure. So I think since making that swap, I've been playing a lot more Meg and I'm playing it a lot better. In terms of Melody, Interlude 100% of the time, Fast Beats, 100% of the time and then this sets up all of the time I never swap from it damage and the gadget charge gear because the gadget is super strong next up we have Miko clipping scream I use pretty much all of the time there will be some odd scenarios where I use presto especially if I feel like I'm going to really struggle to jump on the snipers but the clipping scream definitely it is just essentially that but you get an extra bit of damage so you may as well go clipping scream and then this all of the time with the monkey business star power but if you're playing heist or if you're playing showdown you want to use this star power for sure so now moving on to Mortis, starting off with his gadgets. So recently, Combo Spinner received a buff. I don't really like using Combo Spinner. Main reason, because Survival Shovel, you can use just to close the gap onto the opponents. You can use the extra DPS to actually cycle your super better. While Survival uh, Combo Spinner doesn't actually help charge your super. It can be good for quick kills, but I just like Survival Shovel. The main reason, and the main way you play Mortis is by cycling bats. Cord Snake, you want to be using all of the time. Definitely the better star power. But in terms of gears, a lot of things to swap. I've actually been using a mythic gear with uh, Mortis. Main reason being is because I'm a bad Mortis. I haven't got a good ping. So using this gear enables me to cycle through my bats quicker. It helps me get healing quicker as well if you think about it like that. I think this is an underrated gear. I may have hated this in the past, but after trying it a lot more, I'm starting to like warm to it. It's making me play Mortis better. But if you're a good Mortis player, you probably go, could go with like damage on this or the shield gear. Of course, him being an assassin. But yeah, that's my build with Mortis. You see me on streams. Sometimes I pop off with Mortis with that build and next up we have mr p so in terms of gadgets i think service bell definitely is a better one if you're facing off against throwers or snipers this could be a pretty annoying gadget but service bell is better overall and in terms of star powers you want to use a revolving door just getting that extra hp damage etc it's just the reason why you use mr p and then you can never go wrong with damage and the shield gear sometimes i like to use vision but you can never go wrong with that in terms of nanny it depends on the game mode so if you're playing bounty knockout you'll be using autofocus and the return to sender especially against snipers return to sender is one of the best gadgets in the game but if you're playing heist if you're playing gem grab if you're playing brew ball you want to be going for the teleport especially on heist to get in behind enemy lines and then tempered steel you can tank so much damage and just make a lot of plays with the teleport and then in terms of the gears i never really swap away from this i mean maybe if you're playing heist you might want to opt for something like this to get four teleports onto the safe it's actually pretty clutch and then of course damage gear with nanny you know, dam you're just going to do so much damage with Nani if you get that popped onto you. Next, we have Nita. So you want to be using the shield gadget pretty much all of the time. But I think this is really underrated. If you know how to time your gadgets really well, especially against tanks, you know, if you're facing off against an Ash, BB Bear Paws is going to be better overall. But I think you always get value out of the shield gear. So I pretty much go it all of the time. And then, of course, Hyper Bear and Heist bear with me everywhere else and then of course as well speed and damage and then if you're playing heist then you want to be going with the pet power gear really good especially if you can get it with the hyper bear onto the safe next up we have otis so otis fat splatter 100 percent of the time ink refills 100 percent of the time and then again depending on what map you play otis on i've been finding myself playing otis a lot on grassy maps so you might want to opt for speed gear and their vision gear i think vision gear is very underrated but you might want to go damage or super i don't really notice much with supercharge to be fair so i just swap between one of those next up we have pam so we're gonna be going scrap sucker 100 percent of the time you're gonna be going mama squeeze 100 percent of the time as well maybe if you're playing quick fire you might want to go for mama's hug but mama squeeze is actually pretty underrated you're gonna be going mythic gear 100% of the time as well. People like to swap a lot between gadget, uh, gears with Pam, sorry. So if you're playing Hot Zone, then I think this health gear is very good with Pam. Of course, she's a thick mama, so you want to be make sure you're staying alive on a zone as much as possible. Vision gear on grassy maps, really underrated on Pam. But I actually like the extra gadget charge because you get four scrap suckers, which is pretty good with Pam. Next, we have Pearl. So you want to be using Overcooked 100% of the time. You're going to be using Heat Shield 
pretty much 99% of the time. Sometimes if you're facing off against multiple aggro brawlers, this is an underrated star power, but heat shield is better. And then I never really swap away from this combo, especially now that Overcooked's got nerfed. You definitely want to go for this. It pairs so well on Pearl. And then next we have Penny, so Salty Barrel, 100% of the time. You want to be using, I would say, Master Blaster most of the time with Penny because the main thing is that she struggles against Assassin, so it can help her. I know people will say, well, it just leaves your Penny turret in a bad spot, so you might want to go with Heavy Coffers. I'd say it's like a 50-50, but with my playstyle, especially if you're playing it in Brawl Ball, or again, you're facing off against your biggest counters. Master Blaster allows you to win those. And then damage and shield all of the time with Penny. And then with Piper, you want to be going Auto Aimer most of the time. If you're just playing a ladder just blindly, then Auto Aimer is the way to go. But if you're playing on a long range map, Homemade Recipe is really good at confirming kills. Star Powers, I go snappy sniping all of the time. Even on super grassy maps, some people might want to swap to ambush, but I don't. I always go snappy sniping because it's just so good at keeping the pressure. And of course, once you start tapping, you know, Piper does so much damage, so you want that extra reload speed. And then especially on uh, Bounty and on uh, Knockout, I actually go with the Gadget Charge gear for homemade recipes that allows you to confirm kills. And of course, Piper being squishy, you don't need the damage gear, you need the shield gear to stay alive. So that's the setup I go with Piper. So now moving on to Poco, starting off with his gadgets. You want to be going tuning fork all of the time main reason being it because it got buffed like two or three months ago went super under the radar and such a good gadget i mean if you're playing uh like i don't know hot zone if you're playing against several brothers that have slows and whatever protective tunes can be good but i think ever since like lou has been nerfed crow's slow has been nerfed i don't really see much point in protective tunes anymore so as tuning forks just better overall i actually just go this build most of the time grassy map speed and then everywhere else probably want damage I and mean, then definitely want the gadget charge gear for heals is so good and then in terms of star powers it depends on what poco player you are if you're super aggro screeching solo can be good to confirm kills but i think the main reason why i use poco right now is just to heal as much as possible so the capo is really good especially if uh, someone's just camping on the hot zone then you can just heal them up all the time so in terms of gadgets it depends on uh, the map here so if you're playing a really long range map on knockout or bounty then hacks is going to be the better gadget to confirm kills against snipers but the new outlet line gadget is actually pretty good especially on non-convenient rt maps so you're talking like parallel plays for example you can use this gadget to defend the zone pretty easily and then maybe like sneaky fields i've seen it used center stage it can catch the opponents off uh, by surprise a pretty underrated gadget in terms of gears you want to be using this setup all of the time i mean you can never really go wrong with the health gear with rt is pretty tanky and then don't use a damage gear it's not really worthwhile on rt but you want to be using either the extra gadget or the shield gear next we have rico so more multiple launcher pretty much 99% of the time it's such a broken gadget it's so good it deals so much damage it probably will receive a nerf pretty soon it's so good and then in terms of uh, bouncy castle you might want to use that if you're facing off against several snipers maybe on like knockout or bounty but i still use multiple launcher all the time i use super bouncy pretty much all of the time as well so much damage with this star power people use forever retreat I can kind of vibe with it now. I've tested it out a, bit, a lot more. And it's pretty underrated. But I think Super Bouncy. You use Rico on maps with a lot of walls. And to get a lot of damage. That's why you use Rico. In terms of its best gears overall. You want to use Reload Speed Gear pretty much all of the time. And then it depends on what map you're you are on. If you're on Hard Rock Miner or Grassy Map. Vision Gear is super underrated. You might want to go with Damage Gear. You might want to go with Extra Gadget Charge. Because Multiple Launcher is broken. You can swap a lot with Rico. Next we have Rosa. So you want to be using Unfriendly Bushes most of the time. Uh, but sometimes you might... Might be playing gem grab you use grow light uh just connect the bushes it can be pretty annoying both gadgets are good both are underrated in terms of star powers and i think forney gloves still is a better star power overall but ever since uh the supercharge rate nerf hit her a couple of updates ago i've started to go plant life a lot more just to stay alive for longer be annoying for longer but again forney gloves is a really good star power but in terms of gears you can never go wrong with speed and damage i've actually seen people go like on sneaky fields this combination instead main reason being four slows can be really crucial so just bear that in mind with rosa pretty underrated strat next we have uh roofs in terms of gadgets take cover can be pretty good against gene or single shot brawlers but i use air support 90 percent of the time main reason being it gets so much control on so many different scenarios air superiority pretty much all of the time if you're playing knockout bounty you might use field promotion but use roofs to break open them up 
uh, typically, so that's really good. And then you want to be going damage and the shield gear. Next up, we have Sam. So, of course, this gadget all of the time. You want to be going this star power all of the time as well. Hard to recovery. And then, I don't know, with Sam, you don't, uh, you, most of the time you probably want to opt for something like this. But you can never really go wrong with the shield and the damage gear. Next up, we have Sandy. So, you want to be going Sweet Dreams. All of the time, you want to be going Root Sand Star Power all of the time as well. I mean, there probably is a rare use case for healing winds, but I think the most most time you use Root Sands is to reveal people in bushes with the damage that you deal and just to stop the opponent's health regen. So Root Sands is definitely the better one. And then in terms of gears, don't listen to anybody. Don't use this mythic gear. Please just don't use it. It's not good. Trust me, it's just not worthwhile. You want to be using the damage and the speed gear. I mean, maybe someone might get some value out of it with a recent hypercharge i don't know but i just go this every single time with sandy uh, next we have shelly so you want to be using clay pigeons you want to be using shell shock or i don't know band-aid both of them are just pretty meh i use shell shock most of the time because you can confirm kills easier but band-aid can be pretty underrated and catching people by surprise and most of the time you use shelly on a grassy map right so you want to be good using this set of speed and the gadget charge because clay pigeons is super strong and then lastly we have spikes so in terms of gadgets life plant all of the time unless you're playing heist where you use popping pin cushion and then star powers curveball pretty much 99% of the time fertilized can be good if you're facing off against several tanks but i just think it's more worthwhile to use curveball and then i never really swap away from damage on the mythic gear mythic gear all of the time and then i don't know damage uh, sh uh shield can be good vision on grassy maps so now moving on to sprout starting off with his gadgets transplant you ought to be using 100 percent of the time so good at uh, just keeping the opponents back and just spawn trapping them overgrowth 100 percent of the time so good for confirming kills for cycling through supers and then supercharge gear 100 percent of the time super essential gear without it sprout wouldn't really be as strong and then shield gear you can never go wrong with that on a thrower uh with squeak can be using residue 100 percent of the time definitely one of the best gadgets in the game still and then super bit sticky you want to be using that main reason being is because just to be annoying with your slows i think squeak is just pretty trash so at least if you connect your super you can confirm kills easy with squeak and then of course gadget charge and the damage gear we're going to be going that all of the time Stu, it depends on the scenario the map whatever else the matchup most of the time you actually want to use speed zone you know on a hot zone gem grab on a super um defensive map on brawl ball if you play more aggressively though breakthrough is really good especially just to get into the people's faces gas a heal 90 percent of the time you know zero drag is fun and that definitely has its perks but i don't know most people use gas heal especially if you have low ping on stew and then you can never really go wrong with this setup for sure next up we have surge so i use power shield all of the time now i think the way you play surge is a lot of grassy maps in a map pool so using a speed gear and then a power shield just enables you to win matchups easily still i don't know if you think you've got a bad matchup power surge is still a good gadget but i think most of the time i use power shield and then of course for damage gear and then you want to be using serve ice cold all of the time and then tara you want to be using the support from beyond all of the time you want to be using and probably heal shade most of the time sometimes you might get value out of black portal but i think healing shade you can always like there's always that one moment in a game where you just get a lot of value out of the healing and then most of the time with tari play on a grassy map so you never really go wrong with speed and damage but i've been noticing that the pets are just really good at tanking so i go with the gadget charge next up we have tick so tick the better gadget definitely is last hurrah it's so good at knocking back uh, opponents, good at tanking like nanny peeps or like a piper gadget or something. In terms of the gears, I think you can never go wrong with these two and never swap away from them. And star powers, I think well oiled is one of the best star powers in the game. Of course, it being called well oiled as well. Uh, but I've actually been having a lot more success rate with automatic, especially if you're not facing off against a thrower. I think this star power is a better one in that sense. And just because of Tick's reload speed, it's super slow. I've actually been liking that star power. So test it out a little bit, guys. And then lastly, we have Willow. So in terms of gadgets, I don't know. Both of them are just a bit meh. I think Spellbound probably is better for confirming kills but i think dive is good just to give yourself a little bit of space and especially if you're facing off again i don't know if someone uses like a brock super or a gene pool or just something with a lot of damage or like a buzz grapples onto you dive allows you to stay alive and then i think the better star power overall is love is blind but it's still hard to see the value in both of these star powers obsession's good in brutal better overall if you connect a lot of supers you might want to go obsession and then you can never go wrong with damage and the shield gear with willow 
So, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below whether I've missed out on any of these. If you guys think there's any builds I went really wrong on. But most of these are going to be like the competitive best build for these brawlers. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.